Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new Ninjago video here on the channel. My name is Tanner Fishies. In today's video, we are going to be discussing Ninjago Dragons Rising Season 1 Part 1 and why it might be Ninjago's darkest story of all time. Now, with that being said, I must give you guys a very heavy spoiler warning for Ninjago Dragons Rising Season 1 Part 1. If you have not yet seen those first 10 episodes, you might want to watch those before you watch this video. If you have seen those first 10 episodes or you just don't care about spoilers, welcome. Let's talk about Dragons Rising and it's really dark subject matter. Now, throughout the Ninjago community, people have been arguing for years now, what is Ninjago's darkest or most mature season? Obviously, Ninjago is a kid's show by default, let's not forget that, but that doesn't mean that Ninjago stories can't get a little bit dark when they want to. In fact, we've seen that many, many times before. In fact, I recently made a community tab post asking you guys which season is the most dark slash most mature. Not surprisingly, a lot of people said Sons of Garmadon, which yes, to be fair, Sons of Garmadon is a very very, very dark and mature season, especially for Ninjago. The emotions were running high in that season. There are several scenes that do make me genuinely uncomfortable in the best way possible, of course. That's why it's one of my favorite seasons. But Ninjago Dragons Rising so far gave me similar feelings. And I'm not saying that Dragons Rising is definitively Ninjago's darkest season because that is very much subjective, but I feel like Dragons Rising so far has the potential to be a lot more mature than the previous Ninjago series. Now, the reason I say this is because in Dragons Rising, we have a lot of moments where dragons are being tortured, and Imperium does seem like it's definitely on the darker side when it comes to Ninjago villains. We've seen people, societies, empires like this before in real life, and Imperium captures the worst aspects of all of those. I found it genuinely hard to watch some scenes during Ninjago Dragons Rising, especially during Sora's flashback episode. That episode in particular really hit me hard, and I'm not really sure why. Now, let me reiterate, Ninjago is definitely not the darkest, most mature thing out there not even close, but for some reason, all of the background stuff with Imperium, with Sora, all of that was pretty uncomfortable to watch. And as I've said, it brings me back to the days of Sons of Garmadon and the Oni trilogy. In Dragons Rising, people's families are torn apart by the merge. In Sons of Garmadon, and especially Ninjago Hunted, people's families were torn apart by Garmadon in Ninjago City. The ninja were presumed dead as well. It's a very similar set of circumstances. In fact, Dragons Rising does borrow a lot from Ninjago Hunted, not gonna lie, but that'll be a discussion for another video, but I'm really glad that Dragons Rising is borrowing the tone of the Oni trilogy, especially Sons of Garmadon, which is a season that I myself and many other Ninjago fans praise for being more dark and more mature than your average Ninjago season. And as an older member of the community, as an older fan of Ninjago, I appreciate the notion that in some way the show is growing up with the fans. Now Ninjago is still not going to be as dark as some other shows on television, that's for sure. This is still a kid's property, but I'm glad that it can express itself in a mature manner when it wants to. Now at the end of the day, do I think Dragons Rising is the darkest season yet? Honestly, I can't really say for sure. It's definitely up there for me, but I still feel like Sons of Garmadon is by far the darkest season, but Dragons Rising has the potential as a series to be the most dark, most mature, even the most edgy Ninjago story of all time. So I'm looking forward to seeing where Dragons Rising goes in the future. I really hope they don't tone it down when it comes to making more seasons. But of course, with that being said, guys, that'll pretty much wrap it up for my thoughts here. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a comment down below discussing which Ninjago season you find to be the darkest or most mature. And do you think Dragons Rising is dark at all? Leave all your thoughts down below. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. And with that being said, guys, that'll pretty much wrap it up for my thoughts here. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed today's video, feel free to like and subscribe, do all that fun stuff. And I will talk to you guys again very, very soon. Peace.